my channel. In today's video, we are going over the five things to look for when purchasing a new foundation. It is the fall, winter time. We are all kind of ditching our BB creams from the summer and getting real about our foundation. So if you're out shopping for foundation or you're looking for something, I just thought this video could kind of be your guide to finding exactly what you need because there are so many factors when it comes to getting a new foundation. I am going to kind of base these tips off of what I did to um, find my perfect foundation. Before we get started, um, I landed on the Dermablend Smooth Liquid Camo Foundation and I actually got two colors. I got cream and camel. The cream is for when I don't have any face tanner on and I'm just kind of all natural. This matches my skin tone perfectly. I don't normally put self tanner on my face, so this matches my neck when I do have my self tanner on and that's actually what I'm wearing right now. So shopping tip number one when looking for a new foundation is you wanna make sure that it fixes your problem area. Whether you have blemishes or red spots or dark spots, you wanna make sure that your foundation fixes this problem because that's the whole reason you're buying the foundation is to cover up the issue. And my issue is dark circles. In the fall, I do get dark circles and when I'm filming my style videos and when I'm filming this kind of video, I can't have them showing. So I need something that's going to cover them up and that's exactly what my Derma Blend does. So perfect. Number two when it comes to finding a foundation that's good for you is the coverage. So it goes by light, medium, and full coverage. I like a medium coverage. I think a light coverage is too light for me in the winter time and a full coverage almost just feels like I'm wearing tar on my face. So I like a good, happy medium. The Derma Blend is actually a medium coverage, so that was perfect for me. Checked off another one off my list. And what I like about the Derma Blend is that it feels like a BB cream, like it almost just feels like a tinted moisturizer, like lotion, yet I'm still getting the medium coverage that I was going for. So whenever you can find something like that, that's always perfect. So, tip number three, it has to be buildable. I do like to contour my face, so I need to find something that's buildable. I've had foundations in the past that when I try to build on top of it, it almost just smears off. So buildable meaning you wanna build other things on top of your foundation. You don't just wanna wear your foundation. You know, you wanna contour, you wanna wear blush, you wanna wear bronzer, highlighter. You wanna make sure that you have a foundation that completely lets you build on top of it without smudging or it not sticking properly. And the Derma Blend, I contoured on top of it. Everything turns out really, really nicely. Sticks, good. It doesn't look like I'm wearing so much makeup, so love that. So, another one checked off my list. <laughs> Tip number four, it has to be long lasting. I usually wake up around 7.30, put my makeup on, and then I'm usually filming until about 4.30 or 5 whenever it gets dark. I'm so impressed by the Derma Blend Foundation because I actually up at like 6.30 because I had to film something. So I had my makeup on all the way until 9.30 at night and it lasted through an all day outside shoot in the wind, it rained a little bit. Someone actually asked me what foundation I was wearing and that my makeup looked good and I was like, that's insane. I've just been like through hell and back all day. That's really cool to know that this really is long lasting and I can always trust it when I've got long days and I don't have a mirror handy at all times to be like, what does my face look like? And speaking of long lasting, you always wanna make sure that you're doing some sort of setting powder because this really locks everything in, keeps everything from smearing. I always like to think of it as hairspray for my makeup. And it just also makes sure that everything is blended together nicely. You don't want any harsh lines on your face because that's weird and it does not look good. Me. We've all been there when we have a long day, come home and we're like, wow, really? That contour is so not good. So don't make that mistake ever again. Number five is that there has to be SPF in it and this is something that everyone needs to be checking off their list. So I went to the dermatologist not that long ago. I'm so ashamed to say that's something that I never even thought about, but it's so important. She said, you should at least have SPF 20 in your foundation no matter what. So checked off my list, Derma Blend has SPF 25 in it, which just makes me feel better knowing that I'm putting it on, knowing that I'm protecting my skin at the same time. All right, that is it for my five tips on finding your perfect foundation. So happy I found mine, Derma Blend Smooth Liquid Camo. 
thank you for existing. <laughs> when I find a foundation I like, I use it for years and years and years. I, I was using the same foundation for so long and then found this stuff. So my new, my new jam right here. So yep, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's super cloudy outside, so it's like pitch dark in my apartment. <laughs> Ryan's headed to a casual meeting, so we're gonna talk about his outfit really quick. How does it look? This pose? I think you should do so, this pose all the time. This one right here? Like while you're waiting to cross the street, while you're waiting in line at the grocery store. Absolutely. Just stand like that. This could, this could do big things for me. <laughs> How about this one? Yep. <laughs>